this is Abdul Hamid back again with another awesome tutorial so I saw a gift on reddit just like this one and thought to myself hey I know how to do this trick so why not make a tutorial about it so without further talking let's jump into the after effects Here in After Effects I have my raw footage which you can see on your screens. So what is happening in this raw video is I move the camera a bit and tilt my hand here and there not to extreme motion but not to subtle. Just keep everything smooth so you can have a good track at the end. So I'm going to drag the footage to a new composition. I'm gonna find the section of the video that I like and will trim the comp down to that part only. Then I'm gonna duplicate the footage layer by going to edit and duplicate. After that I'm gonna create a rough mask around the book. After creating the mask go to the timeline and bring the mask down then right click and select the track mask. If you don't see the track mask option you are using older version of After Effects so you just have to do it manually. So as I track the mask I'm gonna make some minor adjustments as I move ahead with the track. After the track is done select the top footage layer and pre-compose it. I'm gonna name it masked. Now select the mask layer then go to the tracker tab on the right side of the screen and click on camera tracker. Wait for a few minutes as it tracks the camera. After it's done you will see a lot of dots on your screen these are called tracking points. Hold the left click and drag your pointer like this so you can select a bunch of points at once. Now right click on the selected points and create solid and camera. Okay so now I'm gonna hide the mask layer cause we don't need it anymore and enable the footage layer back again. Resize the track solid in such a way that it's bigger than the book. Bring down its opacity by pressing T on your keyboard. Now what you have to do is create a precise mask around the book while the track solid layer is selected. So make sure the track solid layer is selected as you're creating the mask. As we have already 3D tracked it but there still might be some minor shifts here and there so just go and fix them manually. Click the stopwatch of mask path and fix those minor issues. So this pink layer will be used as a matte layer and it will be duplicated several times so keep that in mind. Now I have collected different images of stars, butterflies and abstract art which I'll be using here. So first of all I'm gonna bring down this stars image. Then the next step is turn it into a 3D layer. Now hold shift key on your keyboard and parent the star layer to the track solid. So by holding the shift key the star layer will get into the exact position of the solid layer the pink solid that we call matte. After this go into the effects and preset panel type in motion tile drag and drop it onto the star layers. Check the mirror edges box and increase the value of output height and width. Now to give this star layer some depth Grab the blue Z axis and drag it down. The further down it is the more depth it has. Then according to your depth change the values of output height and width again.
After this, the next step is to duplicate the mat layer. Now put the new mat layer above the star layer. Click on the toggle switches down here. Then go to star layer and change its track mat to alpha mat. Uh, I'm gonna hide the mat layer beneath it so we can see what's happening here. So now the stars are only limited to the area of pink mat layer. So that's why we are calling it mat layer. In the same manner, bring down other images as well. Turn it into the 3D layer. Hold shift and parent it to the mat layer as we did earlier. Resize it and push it down into the 3D space but not too much as it might go beyond the stars. So I'm gonna change the transform mode on this to screen. You can do whatever you want to do with your own layers. As you can see it is going beyond the book cover. So do the same thing with matte again. Duplicate the matte, place it above the anime layer and change the track matte to alpha matte. Now repeat the same process with butterflies. So I'm gonna fast forward this part. You can change colors by applying hue and saturations from effects panel. Give each butterfly different depth and orientation and color if you want. Then for this image I created a rough mask and put it closest to the surface. Adjust the position and size at the end of every element you used here. Now I have this still image of particles with black background. I'm gonna apply a tint effect on it to make it white. Then change the transform mode to screen to make it transparent. After this I'm gonna apply motion tile to make it endless. Then I'm gonna place it into proper 3D space. After this, uh, to give it some motion, I'm gonna press P on my keyboard to bring down the position. Create a keyframe at start, then go to the end and move it up so it gives an upward motion to the particles. Do that all matte and alpha matte thing with this one too. So here we are, you can add glow to each layer and make it more interesting and add more stuff if you want to. So this tutorial was meant to give you the basic idea behind this effect and I hope it was helpful and you've learned not just this effect but other things about After Effects too. So that was all for today, you can check my previous tutorials on my YouTube channel and learn more about After Effects. Please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so you stay updated about my videos. And don't forget to leave a like on this video, I will see you in the next video, till then signing out, peace.